Welcome to JIRA, Working with Issues. I'm Trainer Laurie. What are JIRA issues? Well, we'll talk about creating an issue and what the tools do, as well as tasks and subtasks, and how to watch for an issue. But we want to go right to create an issue. The project is, has a star, so that means it's required. It also has a drop-down, so you can choose from the list of recent projects. The issue type is also required, and you can choose from the list what kind of issue it is. The summary is required, but you have to type in the subject, essentially, what people will be able to search for it by, as well as the description. It helps explain what it is to other people. Then scroll down for more. Choose your priority and severity. If you want to make an attachment, keep in mind it is a TED Meg limit. If you want to link it to Remedy Force, um, you can use the link there. You can do a search for finding the Remedy Force ticket. Now the epic theme, epic slash theme is strictly for filtering. It is not linked to anything else. You'll find that later. So if you're going to um, tie it to an, uh, if you want to help have it filter on an epic, you can choose the epic that you want. But if you're going to uh, tie it to a theme, there's nothing that uh, shows the difference between an epic and a theme. So be sure to put in theme colon first for a theme. I want you to think of a theme as a crossover, for example, user interface or single sign-on. Those would be crossover to different uh, epics. Story points are based on Fibonacci. If you're using Fibonacci, remember it's 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, etc. The due date has a date picker. The sprint, the sprints are in there. Just start typing and you'll see them or you can uh, use the drop-down. Requested by will be a person's name. It can be your name or somebody else's. Just start typing and a list will show. Now labels, by the way, the L is the shortcut to open up labels. Labels are like tags or keywords and they're going to help search for this issue later. So keep in mind a very useful tag. And then once you put one in, you can start putting in another. The linked issues has first how it's linked to another issue. So d is it blocks, is it blocked by, clones, cloned by, etc. And then it will show what it's linked to, what other issue it's linked to. I'll explain that in more detail in just a minute. Once you click the plus sign, then you'll see the different I uh, issues. You can see recent issues, or if you have a, a filter saved, you can choose from that filter. Estimate your time in hours. If you put it in hours, make sure, let's say it's five hours, you put 5H. Or it could be 1D for day. Or 2W for two weeks. Now this is where you're going to actually link it to the epic. So choose the epic here and it will actually be linked to it. Remember the other one's for filtering only. When you're done, you can create it or create another. There's also an Assign tab, so you can choose who to assign it to, who the developer is, and who the tester is. Start typing to get a list of possible matches. It makes it really easy. You can also configure your fields if you want to show different fields than what is available, or if there's a lot of fields that you don't want to see, then you can uh, turn them off, unless they're required, of course. There's these great tools within Issue. For example, you can go back and edit it. So you're looking at your issue and you realize you need to make some changes to it. You can click the Edit button, and that takes you right back to where you were when you were in the uh, Create mode. But now, of course, Create changes to Update. You can add a comment to it. You can add a comment on your own issue or on someone else's issue. You have other options under More. In fact, um, th there's lots of options in here. For example, Attach. You can attach files or screenshot. And if you use a screenshot, make sure that you upgrade your Java, and then you can use print screen, and your image will be pasted in that box. It is a little different from attached files. This is actually in the ticket, whereas the attached files are separate from the ticket. If we come down here to move, you can move the issue to a different area. You can link it to another issue. You can clone it. You can change your labels. You can create subtasks or convert it to a subtasks. I put that last because I want to show you a little bit more about that. What is a subtask and a link? And I like this explanation. A task is like making pizza. However, before you can make pizza, you're going to have a subtask of rolling out the dough and a subtask of adding sauce. 
But another task might be to buy the sauce. And that is not part of the make pizza task. It is a linked task. But the question is, does it block or is it blocked by the make pizza task? In other words, can you make the pizza before you buy the sauce or must you buy the sauce first? You cannot make the pizza without the sauce. So it blocks the make pizza task. So that hopefully will explain the difference between tasks, subtasks, linked, and blocked issues. If we go back to our More tab, we have the option to log work. So when you go in there, you can actually say how many hours you've spent on the task. Then you can see it down in Work Log in your activity, and you can see that it's been logged on the time tracking chart. To view activity, you can go to History, or you can go to All and see all the history of what's happened on that, on that issue. Also, you can watch an issue, you can vote on an issue, and you can see what other people are watching on your issue. Who's watching it? Are people interested in your issue? Uh, because uh, sometimes it's hard to determine which issue comes first. And if you can see a lot of people are watching or voting for it, then you probably will want to put that to the top of your priority list. However, you cannot vote on your issues or any resolved issues. You can email an issue and share it with other people. So um, just click the link and it will automatically put the link in and then you just put in the username or email and it will send them a note. That's all for today. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe to the Trainer Lori channel for updates and click like. Thank you.